Hi everyone, I hope you enjoy this film about Consul Valley, a very picturesque shooting estate located in the Staffordshire countryside. Also, it's a first time for me. Although they're not professing to be a high birch shoot, they have a very skillful keeper in Richard Thompson, who is more than capable of showing good sporting birds for the best of guns, given the right conditions. I certainly enjoyed my day and I'm sure many more sportsmen before me will have enjoyed the mix of parches and pheasant and high duck that is on offer. Thank you. Uh, good morning everybody. We're at uh, Consul Valley and uh, care of uh, Swift Valley Shooting, Jamie Carnegie. And uh, we're going to do a... Uh, is it partridge and pheasant today or partridge only? Um, yeah. It was a mixed day, pheasant part of a chocolate oh, place. Mixed day, yeah. And this is the first time at Consul Valley. I heard a lot about the shoot and I get a lot of inquiries. When are you going to, when are you going to go to Consul? Well, we're here now and uh, we are on a... It's not a very good start at the moment. It's uh, a little bit misty out there. Um, hopefully we'll get started, but uh, bear with us and... Uh, I'm sure me and, me and Jimmy will have a chat later and uh, we'll go through the day. But uh, pleasure to be here, mate, anyway. Perfect. And thank you for inviting oh, us. Glad to have you all. Yeah, glad lovely. to have you. I'll just start off and that's in your bag and well at least it stopped raining <laughs> I put all my, put all, got my skirt on got my waterproof on two coats jumper the lot on because it was absolutely silent down uh, just before the start of this drive but I said if I put all my tackle on to stop to stop getting wet it'll definitely stop raining when I get to the peg which it has so well, we're just on the first drive now at the beautiful Control Valley. Here we are on the first drive, and my neighbour on my right is a chap I have a lot of respect for, John Paul, otherwise known as a seated gun. A true country gent, and despite his disability, also an excellent shot. And for those that think I'm shooting his birds, I'm actually waiting while he has shot, then I'm in a shot behind him if he misses. Sometimes it's far more sporting and exciting to take a bird behind the next gun. Well, in this instance, John Paul doesn't miss that many anyway. Oh, we've got one or two over, is it? And Dave? Well, we're at Consul Valley on the second drive. What a lovely, picturesque little place this is. Very well manicured and uh, they've really done a good job of it. All the roads in a, 
they're outstanding and uh, it's uh, they've done a lot of tree planting here so there's a lot of conservation going off here I was just talking to you at Cal Point to uh, the owner and uh, they were telling me that they've spent vast amounts in, in replanting and making the uh, the estate uh, a lot prettier than it was they've done a lot of clearing up I must admit, they have done a fantastic job. So how, how long have you been shooting now then? Christ, since I was 14. Since you were 14? Is that before you were... Accident, yeah. So yeah. I've shot before the accident, and yeah. And then shot, obviously, yeah. sat now. Yeah. So both, yeah. so just had to readjust, yeah. isn't it, really? But, and, um, and are you finding that shorts now are making it more and more amicable for, uh, for, yeah, they, for disabled shooters? Yeah, I think, I think the reality of it is is that there's a lot of guys out there, not necessarily in wheelchairs, but mm. a lot of older guys that have got yeah. hip issues, knee issues, struggling to walk yeah. across ploughed yeah. fields. Yeah. So there's always that element of, you know, we've got the bugging, we've the got peg, the bugging now, haven't we? Now we've got yeah. these things, the, these, these Kubotas, mules, the, they're brilliant, aren't they? Brilliant now, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, the problem is gone. Which which rates are there as in your top in the in your top five? Then in short, you go to as far as accessibility and, and quality, uh, all and, in the same. If we were looking at access ability, I would think we've got to be looking at somewhere like Water Priory. Yeah, um, yeah. I have to say, we shot a new shoot this year called Leighton Long Mountain. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Which is um, Charles. Yeah, and that's Victoria. the new one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the shoot lodge is just beautiful. And then yeah. you know the Betty's Hall boys. Yeah, they, they know, know what, what they're do, up yeah. to. You'll keep doing what you're doing, we'll buddy, because, because it's, it. it's encouraging more and more people well, to come out and enjoy what we like doing. Absolutely. So that's brilliant, that, Good. buddy. Is it Buxton over that way? Uh, Staffordshire Merlins. Yeah, yeah. Like that there. and that, that's, the, that's the, the, uh, the beginning of the moor, and then Buxton and uh, Derbyshire. Yeah, that's it, across yeah. the top there. Yeah, yeah, but uh, what a pretty little place, and uh, I must admit, uh, it's, it's really took my breath away, this, uh, this scenery. And every drive we've been to, there's, 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 been, there's been something different to look at. It's, it's a lot a, of water here. Yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic. And a great place for shooting some high duck. Oh, that's yeah. it, that's it. Yeah, yeah, if you come over you there, yeah. you have to test yourself. Yeah, yeah. So, how, how long have you been coming here then and fetching teams here? Uh, this is our fourth season now coming up here. Have you? Yeah. It's uh, just year on year we've built up, built yeah. up and yeah. we'll carry on. One of your regular places now then? One of our, yeah, yeah main yeah. hubs really. It's not an extreme high bird place, it's a very nice place to come and shoot some, some really shootable Good birds, some very sporting birds, that's it. and I see there's, there's the hot skyscraper here, oh. so it's, a, it's, it's, it's really a really nice day out, isn't it? You know? Oh, that's it, that's it. There's, a, there's a bird for everyone here. There is, really is. Uh, that's, that's the way to put it, there's really a bird is. for everybody. But it's, it's a bird for everybody in very, very nice surroundings. I must admit, I've enjoyed every minute of it so far. Mate. Very glad you're yeah. We'll yeah, do some more now. Yeah, we're going to do another drive now and see what we can do. Yeah. Lovely. Well, 
what a superb place at Control Valley. Look at this. What a what a nice bit of scenery. And this is all man made this. You know, man that owns this is absolutely dipped very deep into his pockets and created a, a, this wonderful vista. I mean, you couldn't wish to shoot in nicer surroundings than this. It's brilliant. Yeah, there wasn't a lake here really, there was only that one lake here really. Aye. And then I dug this out. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm not going to be able to stage it all up and everything. Aye. Uh, did that about 16 years ago. Did you? Aye, yeah, made a great job of it, didn't you? Have you got fish in it? Yeah, yeah there's a load yeah. of carp in Is there? Aye, uh, do you fish them yeah. like? Yeah. Do you ever go? I have a go in the summer and all the time. In the summer I do when yeah, the you old, can just yeah. come down and they're all yeah, the old picnic party basking going. around on the top. I <laughs> uh, get a bit of lump, big lump of bread out. Yeah. Yeah. I had a little chat to Carl, the owner and creator of the estate, and was again not too surprised at the tenacity of country folk who would dig deeper and deeper into their pockets to create these wonderful picturesque locations for the benefit of not just the shooting man, but everyone who wants to simply enjoy a day out in wonderful countryside, created by wonderful country folk. Something the antis fail to acknowledge in their bid to close down everything sporting in our glorious countryside. God save our beautiful sporting heritage. Oh, yeah. One of the best nice. Today's for you, nice coming here, mate. I've enjoyed the day. You know, You've as not I seen say, it in full swing. No, I, I know that. We entered the. We had a bad start, really, didn't we, with the weather. And I, I didn't really think we were going to get started anyway because it was that bloody foggy when yeah, we arrived. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, you, you put a bit of good luck on us and we got started. Yeah. You've yeah. shot enough? Yeah, yeah, well, I, I think there's been plenty of birds to see anyway. There's no shortage of birds, is there? No. And, as, and how's old Victor Melbro, your dad? Well, he keeps getting kicked off places. <laughs> We're the only one that'll have him now. <laughs> He's barred from everywhere yeah, else. I keep is. trying to borrow him from here, but he keeps coming back. Yeah, unfortunately, Richard is the son of uh, Tony Thompson, who's uh, my nemesis. He's been sacked from every keeper job yeah, he ever had. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll put a photo on the film because if, if anybody ever sees him, phone the police immediately. <laughs> <laughs> or phone Richard because he'll have to come and collect him. I'll come and collect him. They only, let, they, only let him out, they only let him out now and again, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And then you've got, they've got to go and catch him again because he, he goes a bit AWOL for a couple of days. <laughs>